my rocket stove here. Uh, really simple. I kind of pulled the plans offline, modified it a little bit. Um, got some uh, grass and stuff in the way, but it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, basic idea is you put the wood in here, right here in this hole, and it shoots the flames and the heat up this direction. It doesn't need a whole lot of fuel to make very extreme heat. So we're going to fire this up. I got some water, water here for safety. It's pretty windy out. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, but it's pretty windy. You've got a very enclosed space for for your lighting. Kind of see, I got started a little bit. Just took a little uh, finagling, a little bit to uh, get it going. I think that's still just the accelerant, the, the cardboard burning. See, I got a pretty good smoke going. The, the, the heat's getting shot up through that set of bricks. Flames still going, but there's definitely, definitely a lot of heat coming out of the top here. I wouldn't say it's ready to cook on yet, um, but there's definitely a lot of heat coming out. So I got the flames going pretty good. I think I'm I'm set with the fire. It's just a matter of getting my uh, my food and my cooking utensils together and uh, start frying up. I think I'm gonna start with bacon this morning. Uh, We'll go with that. You can see the flames are still there, but they died down a bit. So yeah, here we go. Uh, the first sizzling of the bacon. You can actually see it. See it starting to sizzle there and cook. It's going to be kind of nifty, being my first uh, not campfire setup. Um, I do like the idea of having a double burner um, rocket stove. Maybe perhaps the next build I do, just to maybe do like. You know, hot water, boiling water for tea or coffee, as well as you know, the actual food that you're uh, that I'm preparing. So, um, yeah, waiting for the bacon.